This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. So guess what? You clicked on this video because you want to find out what Chanel bag is available for under $2,000 or euro or pounds. You've came here because the title says that it's a Chanel bag hack for under 2,000 euro or a Chanel hack under 1,000 euro bag. What does this mean? Well, it's kind of complex. Is it a Chanel bag? I mean, it's from Chanel. Um, is it under 2,000 uh, dollars or 2,000 euro, 2,000 pounds? Yes, definitely. Way under. We're actually almost at the 1,000 limit. So we're like 1,000 point something. So it is an authentic Chanel bag that has for Chanel standards, a really good price. And is it a bag bag? Is it a wallet on chain? No, because the wallet on chain went up in price. The wallet on chain is way above 2000. So it can't even be a wallet on chain. So what is it? If you like the content of my video and in general my videos, consider subscribing to my channel here on YouTube. You can also push the join button next to the subscription button and become a member today and get extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Deco Ball spelled together on Patreon and get access to videos that don't come to YouTube or that come to YouTube that come to YouTube only after they came to Patreon. So Thank you. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my patrons and my members for helping support the Fashion Bunker. This video is being filmed live in front of a virtual studio audience, so I have my lovely co-reviewers and chatters chatting in the chat comment section uh, next to me right now. So everybody's super curious to know, what is this Chanel bag hack or Chanel bag under $2,000 hack? What is it? Okay. I'm going to show you something right now, you guys. Uh, and it's kind of surprising, really. It was a shock to me, too. Was it a shock in the best of ways or the worst of ways? Let me shift to the side and blend it in. Voila. Cometh henceforth the Chanel <laughs> sunglasses pouch, <laughs> right? In leather, mind you, this is an image of the Chanel sunglasses case holder with a chain with a leather with a leather inter, interwoven leather into chain strap. Um, so this is a small leather good, but when worn cross body or across the shoulder, it becomes a bag. Now it is literally this is a very vintage over 20 years old, that's why it's all falling apart. So don't mind the, this is an example that I use sometimes when I do my lectures. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But this is um, a 90s Chanel uh, sunglasses case. So you can see, you open it and you put the glasses in there. So that little thing clicks open and inside you can put your glasses and it's kind of this thick on the side, it has this thickness, it goes narrow at the bottom and you know, a bit high at the top. Um, I can show you the next image of it open so you can see a little bit more of the concept. There you have it, you see? So the chain is attached underneath the flap and uh, the leather ends at a certain point there and then after the leather ends you have the, uh, the gros grand. It's kind of like a silky satiny material which is also typical to Chanel bags. So this is the caviar version. You could of course, now, for the occasion, I also have in my little pouch the Wallet on Chain. You could check out the review of this one from my channel. I've done it a couple of years ago. And I've also made a video on many different ways to wear the Wallet on Chain. Because, you know, it's all about the chain. And similar to this little... Hold on, let me just take this out. So, you know, you could wear the Wallet on Chain like this. 
but you could also double the chain like this. It becomes a bit shorter. You could double it even further if you wanted to. I mean, I love the wallet on chain. It's really such a cool little bag. You could wear it like this. Or you could, you know, just pull out one end and just put it around your uh, wrist and wear it like a little wristlet. Now, I've done several videos on this bag. You could check out all the different ways of wearing it. So the same applies to that little sunglasses case. Now, here's the twist. Because you know there's a twist with Chanel. There always is a twist with Chanel, isn't there? I think Chanel did not really realize what they were doing with this little thing. They thought, oh, yeah, you know, sunglasses pouch. It's not going to be a bestseller. It's for glasses. But they kind of made it well. They, they manufactured it well. So now people, you know, are getting the idea. Hey, this could be a micro bag. Because... Let me show you again the wallet on chain. Let me just put the little chain back in. It's protective little sleeve or pouch. So just like putting the chain back in. Okay. So unlike the wallet on chain, which can open up a little bit, but it's a wallet on chain. The actual uh, sunglasses case, it has a thickness to it on the side. Like, it can actually fit something in there. That is a micro bag. Now, it's still considered a small leather good. Uh, let me show you the next picture. You see how it looks closed. You see it on the side. It's elevated where the flap is um, closing and then it goes thinner at the bottom. But let me show you the next picture. Um, so this is again caviar. I'm not sure if there is a, if I have a photo ready. Okay, so these were the four pictures uh, relative to the caviar leather. Now let me show you the next one. Lambskin. Yes, Chanel also made the lambskin version. Let me show you the next picture because I want to see if there's a photo of this bag from the back. Why do I want to show you the back? Probably there is none. Um, I don't think there is, but anyway, let me just show you the next image. Maybe you can see it a little bit to the side. Okay, you don't really see it. And the last one from the pink. Okay, anyway, what I wanted to show you, Chanel didn't photograph it properly. Uh, the back of the bag, just like the wallet on chain, has a pocket, and the pocket is huge. The pocket covers the entire back, so it would be as if this pocket would go all the way to the edge. So that little pouch for sunglasses also has a pocket on the back that's stitched in. Uh, and, um, and they do make it in lambskin and in caviar. So this is a very well thought through little tiny small leather good that um, it doesn't cost too much. Mind you guys, mind you guys, when you go on the Chanel website, the only two colorways that they show you, they show you one colorway per material. So they're going to show you the blue one for caviar, and they're going to show you this baby pink or rose for the lambskin version. But there are there's a yellow, there's, a, there's many different colors. And of course, Chanel is not going to show you the most coveted one, because again, the twist, they didn't realize that this one was going to kind of become some sort of a bestseller because the, we're still not at the price yet, but we're going to get to the price. Uh, so stay tuned for the price. But um, they were at least clever enough to not put the black one online. They put these colors that are more difficult to sell because the black one would be like the second you see the black one. I'm going to show you. I managed to dig out a photo of the black one. You're going to be like, oh my God, hit it. Let's see the black one. Now, you see what I mean? Okay. We got ourselves. Yes, it's it's a bit cringe. This these are supposed to be just gla a glasses case, but look at it. When it's colored in black, no 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 no, huh? It. I mean, looking at it like this, it's almost like oh, it's a Chanel. You know, it's a little micro Chanel bag. Yeah, it is. So of course Chanel is going to realize once all of us jump on this thing. 
they're going to be like, oh, damn, we got to up the prices. And they're going to up them. Oh, they're going to up them. They're going to up them. Uh, they're going to up them sooner than you think because this little thing is super expensive, obviously, for general world standards. But for Chanel standards, <laughs> no. And guess what? And this is what sold me on the bag. It's made in France. It's made in frickin' France, not in Italy. It's made in France. The caviar and the lambskin version. So, and they're already selling out. It's like, probably already gone. And after you see this video, you're probably gonna buy it too. So it's gonna be gone, I guess, by cometh Monday and gone. Oh, somebody just subscribed. Thank you so much for subscribing. So you can imagine, look at this thing in black. I mean, again, it's a bit cringe because I mean, it's a sunglasses case. It's like, uh, you, you can't afford the Chanel bag, so you buy the next best thing. I think it's not that bad. It's not like it, it's cringe because what I wanna say is, this is very well executed. It's not like you can't afford the Chanel bag so you get the next best thing. This is a micro, tiny micro Chanel object that definitely looks like a micro nano bag. And I'm loving it. I have to say, you guys, I would prefer that it, if it were a 255 with a little lock instead of just having a magnet closure because that's a little magnet closure there. But she cute, I got to admit. Now, let's get to the price. Finally, the reveal. Most of you probably already Googled it by now or checked on the Chanel website, but here's the reveal. First price is in Euro, 1,300 Euro. And there you get to see also the reference number, if you're interested in this bag. Now I'm gonna show you, this is the, um, that was the lambskin. Now the caviar leather, same price for caviar leather, 1,300 Euro. Now I'm gonna show you the, the next price in dollars, uh, in the States, the lambskin is $1,450 plus tax. You got to add the tax on top of that. Then I'm going to show you the price for the um, caviar leather, $1,450 plus tax in the States. And now let's get to the British pounds, darling. £1,190 for the caviar leather and 1,190 pounds for the lambskin leather. Of course, you're gonna be like, it's still not worth it. Of course, it's not worth it. Luxury is never worth it. It's only worth what, what you want it to be for you what, you, what you're ready to pay for a dream. That's all luxury ever is. However, within the Chanel standards, that, for for the bag, because Chanel thought they're just making a sunglass pouch, so they can't make it cost $2,000 because it's a sunglass pouch. But they didn't realize that a lot of people are going to see this as a mini micro, micro nano bag. Now, as a micro bag, this one is cheap for Chanel standards. If you see this as a micro bag, this one can easily go for two k, easily for 2000 But however, bringing back into the conversation my wallet on chain which is also made in France. This one is, some of them are made in Italy, but I hunted down a made in France many years ago. Um, when I got this one, this one, uh, the wallet on chain, which of course I prefer to, to that, but that's a new develop, it's a further develop. You know, I love sunglasses. I have a huge Chanel collection of sunglasses. So in my case, this little thing would not be used as a bag. I would have my Chanel bag with me or whatever other bag I wear. This would be worn as a necklace or as an extra accessory where I actually really put my glasses. I would not make a video of what fits in my Chanel sunglasses case that actually should wear, should hold sunglasses, but I'm going to squish in my wallet and this and that and show you how much can fit in there because there are videos online that actually do that. That, that already, that's borderline cringe to me. Uh, I would put my glasses in there because it's fabulous. And it's just a beautiful piece. The leather looks delicious, plus made in France. But what I wanted to say is, I still prefer my Wallet Unchained to that. The Wallet Unchained that I got is exactly the same price as that. But this was many years ago. This was like 2015. So this is back then, back when the Wallet Unchained used to have that price. So when I see this, I think to myself, damn, that has the same price. Oh no, you know? But it has a new shape. 
it's an interesting new development. It's a brand new piece that they designed extra just for this collection. And they're already probably thinking about making them for the next seasons and they're going to up the price. And you're best, you best believe the next ones that come out are going to cost it, not double, but almost. Just saying. Okay, so I can take away the photo let. Um, so there you have it. So you guys, do we prefer the wallet on chain to the Chanel... Um, sunglasses case and leather that can function as a micro bag for what it is yes this has more of a heritage of a history but that little object is a very really interesting is a really really interesting object and i'm sure they're going to add because if this one becomes a bestseller you best believe they're going to add the 255 version of it with a 255 little thing it's not going to be a real lock it would be better if it were a real lock instead of just a magnet thing but it is what it is. Um, what is your guys' opinions? Okay, let me read the comments. Oh my God, it must be a makeup bag, says Emilia. Nope, it was not. Uh, does the stone Birkin open? Birkin? Girl, where, where'd Chanel here? <laughs> is it the water bottle Chanel bag, says Jam? <laughs> okay, so this was all before I revealed it. Everybody was guessing. The shopping bag you get when you buy something there. Probably some type of travel makeup cosmetic bag. No, guys, nobody guessed. A wallet kind of bag, says Olfactive Stories. You kind of guessed it. Um, you kind of guessed. Yes, they could AirPods phone, sunglasses bags. Yes, yeah, sunglasses. My Sita says, wow. Jam says, I don't like the shape. I mean, it's for sunglasses, you guys. Uh, Jam says, this is just another money grab. Uh, yeah, you were right, Carol, says Olfactive Stories. Um, wait a minute, hold on, says Amelia. Um, how hard you would, you have to, Paul Parker says, how hard up would you have to be? Uh, it's really cute and love the color, says Melly. Melly says also, but would I get it? No. Paul Parker says, yeah, but to wear it, and pass it off as an actual bag? Paul Parker says, I know, Paul. That's kind of the... S I know. Exactly. That I'm also like, really? Like... But yeah, I mean, you know. Listen, there are people who have taken the cosmetic pouches that Chanel gives them and have transformed those into bags and claim them to be, you know, Chanel bags that they bought in a boutique when those were freebies. Everything happens these days, you know what I mean? But uh, Audrey says, do you get the sunglasses included or is that another 1,000? <laughs> Audrey, the sunglasses are not included. Good question, though. But Chanel sunglasses usually begin from around 350 and upwards to 1,500. Uh, Jam says, Chanel bags have no appeal to me now. Caleb says, do not like it. Any leather good from Chanel that just has the interlocking C placed on it, I'm not a fan. Card holders, etc. too. It's not even a turn lock. And even then, I'm not a fan of it. Uh, Debbie says, much too small. Uh, Emilio says, technically, it is a bag. It is, Emilio. It is. It's a little, it's a tiny bag. She stretchy, says Emilio. Says Emilio. Yeah, she opens up for the right one, says Emilio. <laughs> The bag has eyes, says Lucas. Oh my God, that was like Moira from Schitt's Creek. Um, the crows have eyes too. <laughs> Paul says, wouldn't even fit a bottle of water in it. Oh, Lucas says, now the bag is drunk. Paul Parker says, interesting though. It's cute and pink, says Lucas. Audrey says, to be honest, it could fit your keys and cards. The colors are beautiful. Melly says, I like the colors too. Uh, Jam says, do you like the Birkin? Okay, okay that was, again, and, and, and we began with the Hermes versus Chanel. Never ending story. Nice for summer, says Olfactive Stories. Yeah, it's a cute, it's a little like, you know, la la la, living my life type of thing. Media says, the black is giving the give. If you broke but want a taste of Chantel, go for it. Right? I, I think that's kind of the gist of this. Thank you for saying it. Um... Paul says, uh, but but anyone who knows would scoff at you. Yeah. 
Depends. Depends how snobby the person that you're encountering is, you know? What other people think of you is none of your business. Very well said, Jack. Very well said. She cute in black, says Vel. I know, right? Like, she has a little something something in black, you know? When she's in black, she's like, hey, you know? I may be little, and I may be perky in the wrong places, but why don't you come upstairs and see me sometime, you know? <laughs> um, Paul Parker says, may as well get a full-size Gucci. <laughs> Jam says, you now have me at Made in France. I know Jam, right? Listen, you guys, I saw it first and I was like, Made in Italy, moving on. And then I saw a video of somebody opening it and said Made in I was like, no. <laughs> I literally, my Christian Lacroix little cross, very Adina Monsoon from Ab Fab, you know, when she gets a gift, she's like, is it Lacroix? It is. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I, I'm like that with Chanel bags. Like, oh, Chan oh, it's a Chanel bag. Is it made in France? Oh, it is? I love it. <laughs> it's so superficial, I know. But I was like, made in France. Okay, this is a piece worthy of consideration. Um, so I don't know, you guys, if I'm going to get it. I, it's probably already sold out. But the made in France got me too. Uh, Jam says, uh, you now have me at Made in France, right? Jack says, not Gucci. Super glue rhinestones on mass scrap. <laughs> um, Jam says, do you own one? I, I don't own uh, the, the sunglasses pouch. The, the sunglasses bag. Uh, Justin uh, Midibon says, micro cringe. Oh my God, that's a good one. <laughs> She definitely cute in black, Amelia says. She's giving 255 minus five chromosomes. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, you're terrible. I love this. Oh my God, I'm loving it. Carol says, Deco, are you going to get it? Carol, mm, I don't know. Oh. Amelia says, not 1,300 for that child. Mm -mm. Ouch, I think that's still expensive, says Melly. Yeah, of course it is, but... You guys, of course it's still expensive. Don't, don't under... Uh, listen, it's not about... Yes, it's exp everything at Chanel is expensive. What is cheap there? That's not the point. The point is, it's a Chanel bag that's literally almost just $1,000. Today, in 2021. That's like... It's like the prices of like seven years ago. That's the point. No matter how cringe it is to wear a little tiny sunglasses bag like that as a actual micro bag that forget about that just think about the mistake that chanel made in calculating this because they're going to sell out of these like this and they're going to be like oh damn we should have made them cost two thousand <laughs> and they will the next round is going to get a price markup for sure expensive but still cheaper in comparison to those six thousand pound bags they keep churning out thank you audrey that's exactly the point um, fashionista and applies says, oh my God, I paid $6,400 plus tax for my CC trendy in pink. Haha. -ha. I want my money back. I'm telling you, fashionista, that's the point. That's what I'm telling you. Yes, this bag is tiny. It's literally the size of literal Chanel sunglasses pouch like this one. But she cute. I mean, come on, you guys. See it in this, see it this way. Again, we're talking luxury prices here. Don't tell me like, oh my God, it's so expensive. Burgers cost less. The, the point is this. For 1,300 euro or $1,400, you literally get not even a full pearl necklace with a little bit more beading at Chanel. So the way I see it, this bag is not just a bag. You can also wear it as a Chanel necklace. Super funky, a little bit ghetto, but it's just the right amount of ghetto chic. And it is the price of a Chanel necklace. But you get a leather bag with it. I mean... It works for me as a concept. I would use it for glasses, obviously. But I would wear it around the neck, hanging down, like... It's kind of... I mean, I'm not trying to sell it. I mean, I don't even have one, so... But... Jacob, I think you are going to invest. As a collector, as well. It looks really good quality in the images, says Audrey. I mean, you never know. You never know. <laughs> and Debbie says, a wallet on chain would be my choice at the first point. At, the, at, at that price point. Yeah. And, and it used to have that price point, and I got it at that price point many moons ago. But now, a wallet on chain is like almost, I, I mean, the next price increase is going to reach, it's going to be like 3000 
For now, it's like 2000 something. But no, I mean, I, I would never get a wallet on chain for 2500 so Forget it. Mm -mm. My choice would be paying rent, LOL. Emilio says, yeah, but again, E, you know how it is. Of course. But it's a luxury conversation. It's like, it's a realm that is full of non-logic as it is, you know, the, the pricing, but it's all ridiculous in luxury. So we're debating just like we're debating, okay, what chips do you prefer to eat? Literally, it, it's, it's that abstract. You know, if we kind of abstract ourselves, it, it goes into that realm. Caleb says, Jacob, honestly, can't stand the wallet on chain or the sunglasses case, but I know you still know how to make it look great. Oh, thank you so much, Caleb. I love the wallet on chain. Really, really love it. Uh, this is going to sound awkward because of the way, it, because of how tactile it is. I don't like the Made in Italy wallet on chain because it's too puffy. I said this in my review. The Made in France is more light, more sophisticated, more flat. And the, f oh, the smell and the feel. There's just something tactile about the size of this. <laughs> It's very well in the hand. Um, it, it's just so... Mm. It, it's not the prettiest bag to look at. It's not about that. It's about feeling it close to you. It just feels really, really good. This is... T tactically, tactile speaking, the wallet on chain. It's just the right density and intensity also of caviar. Hmm... It's a bag I love to touch. What can I say? Anyway, Jam says, MK, I agree. Chanel bag prices are just awful. Hopefully people stop buying and they will be forced to bring those bags prices back to earth. Never going to happen. Fact of Story says, I see another format on the website uh, for $990. $990, darling. It's a flat wallet. It only fits cards. It's a flat wallet uh, for $990. That is not uh, actual width. You get no width like here. You get an actual space in that little thing when you open it in the sunglasses container. Uh, secondhand 255s are so expensive in recent months. At least 2,500 pounds for a good quality one. Yeah. That is true. They're going up in price more and more. Um, Melly says, you're getting it, aren't you, Jacob? I don't know, you guys. I wanted to know also your opinions. What do you think? Should it become one of the pieces in the Fashion Bunker archives? Or not. We can also do, you know, uh, a vote. Jacob, do you own any vintage Givenchy items? Uh, sunglasses. Rendezvous uh, for the unboxing, says Lucas G. <laughs> Caleb says, I'm kind of annoyed because some of my ready-to-wear is made in Italy, whereas this little sunglass case is made in France. Child, the shade of it all. Listen, some, of me, some jumbos and some of the maxis are made in Italy, too. So... Uh, yeah, Caleb, their Made in Italy uh, garments are mostly their wool and cashmere tops. Cashmere, all the cashmere I have is made in Scotland from Chanel. It is because Italians are better skilled to work on those type of fabrics. It doesn't mean bad quality. Jam says, um, best cashmere, Scotland. Coco, let, let, the, let her cashmere sweaters always be made in Scotland. And the tradition still has it done that way. So when I look at Chanel cashmere sweaters, it has to be made in Scotland for me. The classic sweaters. Uh, Paul Parker says, get it. Go for it, Paul says. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, says, um, all right, we read that. I think made in France versus made in Italy is more of a foreigner's thing from my French point of view, says uh, MK to Caleb. Mm, no, MK, it's not a foreigner's thing, and I'm telling you why. And I always say this, made in France, it's a French brand. It's a French brand that demands prices for its exclusivity. Okay? You want such a high price and you're so proud of your heritage of something made in France, then I want your bag to be made in France. Otherwise, if you're going to, if you're going to, um, ex if you're going to, well, export, oh my God, I'm missing the right word. If you're going to push production outside somewhere else because you can't manage to produce the, the amount of demand coming in, in France, so you got to um, produce something in Italy or in Spain from your leather goods, for example, then I'm like, well, then make it cost less. Because the only reason you are pr producing it in another country is because you can't meet the demand of everything that you need to be produced in France. 
So the highest class is in France, and then after that, we're going to Italy next step. So make it cheaper then. That's my motto. I only buy Chanel made in Italy when I have no other choice. When a seasonal piece that I love is only made in Italy, it happens. And I, if I really, really love it, and that one is not at all made in France, then I buy it made in Italy. If the piece is made in France, but then sometimes they shift the production also out to Italy because they can't produce it all in France. And then some pieces are made in Italy. And I'm like, no, I want the one that's made in France. Thank you very much. Not the one made in Italy. Uh, Caleb says, I agree with that. For me, I get uh, lesser focused on wanting French brand made in France. It's the same with the row. I love their products made in USA, not Italy or France. Jam says, when did the first majors price increase occur? Oh, the big, big, big one was in 2015. I think it's cute, says Melly. Jack Dean says, do the vote. Um, Jacob, you looked super guilty when responding to you're going to get it, aren't you? <laughs> Listen, I did not even contact my sales associate yet, so there's nothing, nothing is happening. I swear to you. I swear, nothing is happening. So I don't know how long nothing is going to keep happening. <laughs> But for now, nothing is happening. Audrey says, I think you should invest. First Chanel purchase of 2021? No, it's not the first Chanel purchase of 2021. But, yeah. Audrey says, are you going to buy the bag? I don't know. Oh, oh, Jam is asking Audrey. Audrey, are you going to buy the bag? And Louis said... It's the dream. When I used to be young and remember getting the most cheap t-shirt I could get in Gucci and remember I used to feel on top of the world when I used to wear that t-shirt. Exactly! It's about the dream. MK says, Jacob, for a long, long time, Comme des Garçons uh, garments used to be produced in France and not in Japan. It didn't take out the Japanese cool vibes from it. Uh, that's what you, that's your opinion. <laughs> Audrey says, I'm currently on the lookout for a vintage classic double flap with gold hardware to add to my collection. Wait, vintage classic double flap? Ooh, cha. Listen, double flap. The, the small. Get the small. It's the best double flap in the world. Oh, this is the closest to Coco's own size. Well, of the 255. But anyway, um, oh, I love this one so much. This is a beauty. With this light, it's a little, it looks a little bit bleached, but it's very, very black in real life, okay? It's just like, it depends on, you know, there's a lot of studio lights here right now. So the bag does appear to be a little bit bleached out, but she's not. And she smells so delicious. Small, timeless classic, gold hardware and black. This is the old school caviar. They still did the old school flatter, thicker caviar. This is the old school Chanel caviar. Uh, 2015. Right before the first major price increase. <laughs> oh, baby, says Audrey. Isn't she cute? Yeah. Time to Moscow says, hello, everyone. Just got home. Just uh, buy. Just buy it, Jacob. You know you want to. Oh, my God. You're such an enabler. Time to Moscow. You're such an enabler. You're such an enabler. Uh, Jam says, Jacob, I fully agree with you about buying into a dream. Whenever I buy a new perfume, I think about it as a dream. Um, can you wear the small crossbody? Yes, I can. But it's very, very ghetto masculine, kind of. I know these are all unisex, blah, blah, blah. But why am I saying this? Because the chain is very short. So it does land relatively high up here, crossbody. It's, it's, a, it's it, you know, it doesn't go like on, it doesn't land on your thigh, it's right here where I want it to be. I don't want anybody touching my bag. I want it right here on my chest where I can protect it and baby it. So this is the perfect, perfect length for me, for my height, for my size, to wear crossbody. Um, I'm getting to love silver hardware, says Melly. Oh, I love it too. I love gold, silver, you know. I love it all. I wonder if I should get the small or medium, fashionista said. Well, I'm a huge fan of the small double flap. I do have a medium medium chevron single flap, uh, which I also love, but I love that that it's a single flap. It's so much easier to, because this, you guys, you open it and it's just, it it is, especially in caviar, it's, it's a robust bag. It keeps 
closing itself back in, back into its shape. So to have two flaps to open them, it's always, it's a lot of work. <laughs> um, it doesn't just flow, you know? So as elegant as the concept of the double flap is, it's easier to, to have a single flap. So anyway, you guys, uh, perfume is an art form, not a bag, says Emilio. Uh, ah, yeah, I don't know, depends, depends. But anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in, for watching. This was amazing. Uh, this was so much fun. Thank you so much for your opinions. Stay tuned. Will the little uh, sunglasses baglet um, enter the Fashion Bunker archives or not? I mean, I have other things on my radar that I'd much rather get, to be honest with you. So thinking about that, because there are priorities, there's a list of things. If the things on the list do not get, if I can't manage to get those, then maybe. But by that time, that little sunglasses case might be sold out worldwide. So I don't know. It doesn't even matter. At the end of the day, it's fun. It's more fun to talk about it than actually to have one and wear one. It's more fun to talk about it, I think. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel and pushing the join button next to the subscription button to become a member of the Fashion Bunker and get access to special perks. Join me on Patreon too, Super Deca Balls Spelled Together, uh, and become a patron today and get also special perks. Scrolling here on the side are my patrons and my members and all of the wonderful people that have uh, donated and given super chats to the Fashion Bunker today. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Without you, this channel would not be possible, especially would not be possible to do videos on a daily basis like it is now. So thank you so, so much for that. And for those of y'all who uh, are not members or patrons, thank you too for joining us in the chat today, during the live stream, giving your input and your opinions. It means the world to me. Thank you so much for interacting with me and letting me know what your opinions are. Just never forget, never take all of this conversation too seriously. Luxury is just a dream. It, it's great when it's there. It's also okay when it's not there. You can live without it. I mean, it's not like, you know. So it is what it is. Um, talking about these things doesn't mean that we're diminishing the value of, of things that are actually really important in life, like oxygen, water, food, a roof above the, the head. This is kind of a conversation to lighten up the mood, to have some sort of topic to make us forget about our daily struggles or whatever. It's just a little tiny moment to dream and to laugh about dreams and to laugh about fashion. I mean, it is ridiculous if you think about it. It's literally a little tiny sunglasses pouch with a chain on it that they want a <laughs> crazy amount of money for. It's super hilarious. If you see it as a joke, it can be a funny joke. Anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do thumb it up. And never forget, oh, never forget actually to join me also on Instagram, Super Take Ball Spell Together. But since this is a Chanel uh, topic uh, video, even more so important to say I have two other Instagram profiles that I curate fan accounts of the Chanel brand or what have you Coco Chanel is in my house all spelled together dedicated to my Chanel collection and Coco Chanel Privé all spelled together uh, a fan account dedicated to uh, the success in the life and the tribulations of Coco Chanel herself the person there you have it thank you guys so much for watching until next time never forget to never give up on love love you all see you soon take care bye